The word oceans. We think of beautiful beaches, monster waves, storms, hurricanes, beautiful and weird life, dangerous life forms, and the unknown. We are drawn to the waves as if it is part of our genetic code that calls us back from where we came. Earth is a spinning globe of water, so rare in the expanse of the universe. Mankind is drawn to its shoreline, the smell of the salty air, the feel of the sand between our toes, it is the sound of waves roaring upon the shore, the beautiful sunsets we see, the playful frolic of our children at the water's edge, and walks we take along its shores with those we love. Maybe there is an inner calling within all of us to be close to that where life first formed eons in the past. It is that which we love, that which we travel to, that which we live by, and that which we destroy. It is not just man that plays and frolics in the ocean. We are not the only surfers in the sea that feel the excitement of surfing the wave. We are not the only creatures that compete, jump, and play with their young and mourn when they die. If an animal plays, it means it feels the same excitement as we do. It thinks, it competes, it frolics, it plays, and it feels sorrow and pain, it communicates. It is from this vast expanse of water and the ancient primordial soup that all life originated, from which all life came. As inconceivable as it may seem, all life on Earth has a DNA sequence comprised of four main elements, C, T, A, and G. As scientists decode the human genome, we are now beginning to realize all life forms came from one that emerged eons ago. The amount and complexity of the strands of DNA may vary, but the four basic elements that make up DNA strands are comprised of the same four basic elements. If it changes, our breaks in the DNA sequence, the resulting mutations has created the vast diversity in plant and animal life we see today. Throughout the eons, there has been mass explosions in the diversity of life and mass extinctions on the same scale. That is the ebb and flow of Mother Nature. Oceans have risen and fallen as the ice sheets of Antarctica, the Arctic and Greenland melt and then reform and expand. It is only man that can kill the bass packs of tuna, the whales, the sharks, the manta rays and the great pelagics that Mother Nature saw to fit, to evolve, and live in our vast spinning globe of water. It is all of us that God entrusts to save life forms in decline. It is only man and his machines that has the ability to change the environment. There is a mass extinction taking place today that is not the result of volcanic explosions that cloud the skies or meteorites hitting the earth. It is our trash and pollution that fouls the air and water, our release of carbon into the air that fouls our skies and is absorbed by the water. These same pollutants that are now having a profound and negative effect upon the vast oceans that make Earth so rare in the cosmos. It is our buildings that hug the shore, our alterations in the coastline that stop the shifting sands, our waste that finds its way to the oceans that destroy that which has attracted us to its shores. The coral reefs that protect the shores are so many 
that provide subsistence for billions from the ocean's seemingly endless supply of sea life is under attack from all sides. That which takes thousands of years for nature to build is being destroyed at an alarming rate. With the death of these reefs means the death of the life forms that depend on it for life. The destruction taking place is on the same scale only seen from other great extinctions. Coral reefs were vibrant along the Gold Coast of Florida, from West Palm Beach to the tip of Key West. There is now no living coral from West Palm Beach to South Miami. It is gone and gone forever. There is only us to blame. The last living coral range in the United States in the Florida Keys is under attack, an onslaught of never-ending destruction Soon that will be gone. So we search and seek other untouched places to explore. Wherever man goes, the Greece die. The Great Mayan Reef is now under attack. Gone are the reefs around Cancun. Even the great towering reefs of Cozumel cannot withstand the onslaught. Gone are the big Pelagics, captured, eaten, and fished for sport. Pumped into the oceans are waste, sewage, and rainwater runoff filled with oil and pollutants. And then we dare to ask, what killed the reefs and its sea life? Many people believe the vast oceans are filled with sea life throughout. They are mistaken. Our vast spinning globe of water is devoid of substantial life for far stretches. The magical creatures we take for granted and inhabit a small area. Coral reefs comprise an area the size of France, yet 25% of all sea life lives within and about coral reefs. In order for coral to grow and flourish, there has to be a set of conditions that are rare and requires a combination of factors to come together to provide the medium required for these living structures to survive and expand. It is just not animal life that explodes around coral reefs. Underwater plant life abounds throughout the coral reef structure. Coral reefs provide the protective barrier from the ocean's waves, currents, and storms to allow seagrasses to grow and flourish. The coral structures that take thousands of years to form and grow can be all but gone in the next 100 years. The great migratory packs of fish such as sardines and tuna are being hunted to extinction. Manta rays, sharks, sailfish, and marlin are hunted as game. Man wiped out the habitats and population of the great land-based animals such as buffalo, tigers, lions, elephants, with those sport animals on the verge of extinction, we are now doing the same to the magnificent creatures of the seas.